Welcome to Around the World in 80 Bottles in Austria. I'm Emily Garrison and we're continuing our wonderful tour through Austria where I had some of the best food I've ever had. Now I had a fantastic meal at a winery called Nigel and I am trying to recreate one of those dishes because it was so wonderful. And what we're going to do today is poach fish and serve it with a potato puree and leeks. I've got tilapia today because it's what was fresh but as long as you do a white clean flaky fish it's perfect and you can put salt pepper any kind of seasoning you want I did my fish rub and a little bit of pepper and that's all I did on it and we're gonna poach that in a liquid of olive oil and white wine which we're gonna get really nice and hot and then cook the fish in it so it completely envelops it and makes it nice and moist Next, I'm going to make our potatoes, and this is a very simple mixture. We're going to use some of that Quimic, that wonderful heavy cream substitute, and then we're going to use some cork, and cork is another one of my favorite things. It is kind of like fromage blanc. It's basically cheese before it's cheese. So what we're going to do is add a little cork and a little Quimic. Sounds, sounds like a nursery rhyme, but it's really good for your food. And then we're going to take our potatoes. Now, these were cooked down for twice as long as I normally would boil potatoes, but we want them extra, extra soft because we're going to blend these. I'm going to use an immersion blender, but you can use a food processor, you can use a blender. Originally, what you would use is a food mill, and these are fantastic just to grind the food through. I have mine from when my mom used to make us applesauce when I was a baby, and I use it all the time. But your blenders, etc., are a lot faster, so it's your option. Now that we've got our fish cooked and our potatoes set, what we're going to do is get a little bit of fresh dill and then some leeks. You can just cut off the end part of your leeks. And we're going to do the light green parts. And we're going to do about a whole leek for four of these. And then we're going to saute that just lightly and use that as a garnish slash vegetable for our meal. Now that we've got everything cooked, we're just going to plate this. Now on the potatoes, I like these really creamy like this. Um, I've added a little extra milk to make them extra fluffy. I left the skins on the potatoes because I happen to really like that texture and that flavor and getting the extra nutritional content. If you don't want skins, all you have to do is peel your potatoes after you cook them. If you're going to do that because we cook them so long, I would definitely recommend cooking them peeling them and then cooking them the rest of the way. It'll be a lot easier on you. So we're going to do our potatoes. So delicious. And then our piece of fish that we've poached. Oops. That's the most perfect piece of fish. And then I just let it fall. That'll tell you how tender it is. Right there. Julia Child says, never apologize. I'm not going to. And then we're going to let a little of that poaching liquid go in there. And then we're just going to add our leeks. And I've let these just saute for a couple minutes with our dill. And that's going to add a lot of the flavor because the potatoes just have salt and pepper on them. Fish has a very light seasoning. So this is going to add a lot. Now if that isn't pretty, I just don't know what is. Really lovely fish dish. I can't actually wait to try it. And I'm going to use my little fork with Quimic. A little bit of leeks, a little bit of dill, some really nice creamy potatoes, and some fresh fish. That is a great fish recipe for the winter. 
and we're going to serve that with this vago. Mm. It's a lovely light zweigelt from Ecker and it's got a zippy mineral quality that's great with something like this that you've got to balance out all those onions and dill but you still want it to be light enough that it doesn't weigh down the fish. And I hope you enjoy it and will join us next week as we continue Around the World in 80 Bottles. Cheers!